Welcome, everyone, to this 2K Sports broadcast live in Milwaukee from the home court of the Bucks. 2K Sports brings you Friday night NBA action. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and we'll have David Aldridge filling us in from the sideline. This game in Milwaukee marks the start of a homestand for the Bucks. It has not been a dramatic change this season to the performance last year in terms of the record, guys. Every game, though, a, a chance to get better as a team. You know, the start of a homestand here, uh, a short one, but nonetheless a very important one. So you want to get off to a good start. Now the starting group for the visitors. Kemba Walker is out there with Kevin Herter. Then it's Nemanja Bialica. Then it's O'Neal. And it's Martin in at the three slot. He is the epitome of a seasoned veteran. Drew Holiday has performed at a high level no matter what uniform he's had on. Middleton looking it over. And Holiday has it in the corner. From outside the arc, it's rebounded by Herter. And about Drew Holiday, he's got that championship mentality. No doubt about it, Greg. I mean, he established that with the Bucks winning the title that late in your career, especially after the career he's had, it's got to feel good. I mean, by far, one of the hardest workers in the game, Drew Holiday. Here's on to Takumbo, and the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. You know, gifted with what seems to be a limitless reach, the Greek freak can get to offensive rebounds that most others only think about getting to. And they pick up two. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Here's Giannis. That's a miss. He's made one and missed one. Martin finds Walker. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Walker's got his second bucket. And, you know, even though Walker is just 6'1", he may not be that tall, folks. He is a creative scorer in a hard matchup. Great at making the defense pay inside. Now here is Holiday. There's the triple. Drills it from outside. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. Passes it to Bielitsa. Martin dishes to Walker. And there it is for him. Walker's got six. Only one miss in the first five attempts. Clearly feeling. Here's Connington. Doesn't get it to drop for him. O'Neal with the defensive effort. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? I had a chance to catch up with Mike Budenholzer. This is the first meeting of these two teams, so he didn't know exactly what to expect. But he does know that he wants his guys to attack offensively. He feels their success on that end will dictate their success through the game. So, guys, we can expect them to be aggressive from early on. Appreciate that, David. Interesting report there, uh, GA. The team focused on what it can do offensively. Bottom line, in this league, you have to score points. Sounds like they have a plan. Yeah, and we'll see how it reveals itself, that plan. If the theory is proven right, they'll have a nice foundation to work from. And the wide-open shot from Connaughton. Off target from three-point range. to Walker outside Mark the shots good on the assist by Walker and you know that's exactly what you want from your point guard get the ball to the open guy on time and on target Giannis gets to Middleton pass to Portis outside Holiday the pass to Connaughton shoots over Herter the offensive rebound goes back up, and Portis finishes inside. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. You've got to work harder on the glass. Now here's Herder. No points in the game yet for him, and it's good for two. You know, almost every team has some kind of roster turnover in the offseason, so Greg, this time of year can be about getting familiar with your new teammates. There's always a feeling out process this early in the schedule. It's about finding your team's identity, figuring out how all the pieces are going to fit. Here's Walker following the three by Milwaukee. Back to Bielitsa. Shoots over Portis. Bielitsa misses. 
Well, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jumper. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. Does it as well as anybody, fellas. Tremendous skill while in the air. Martin, the pass to Bielitsa. And he uses the glass on the lane. Throw. Nice pass here to set that basket up. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Call time out. Substitution here for Milwaukee. Lopez is checked in for Bobby Portis. Baca comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Grayson Allen's checked in for Pat Connaughton. And it's Carter in for Drew Holiday. And the Bucks with possession here, coming off that loss against Philadelphia. Well, in that one, you could pretty much see the writing on the wall. Their performance was lackluster at best. Yeah, they looked distracted, far off, distant. I mean, it seemed like their heart wasn't in it to try to win that game. And he just bangs down the one hand. Mm -hmm. Two very easy points right here. We'll take those all day long. And yes, it's good. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. You know, nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Carter finds Middleton. Blake Griffin pulls it in. Now Cousins. Outside Griffin. Cousins trying to free himself up. And Griffin scores. The assist by Cousins. Just focusing on the task at hand, that's all you can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Lopez, and he converts the lane. Just like clockwork, Lopez doing damage inside. Mark, if you take a look at the superstars on this Bucks team, they are extremely selfless. Yeah, they really are. That's one of their great attributes. They just want to win. The pieces fit well together. Doesn't matter how they do it, who does it. They're all in it to win championships. A total team mindset. Right wing. Here's Middleton, and he dunks it down. I like seeing Middleton throw it down like that. Boy, he's a great athlete, and he finishes with a little style, too. Outside Griffin. Back to Walker. To the inside. Here's Craig. Shot's good. Griffin making the play. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last 10 points have all come off assists. Carter, the pass to Middleton. Abaka with a screen on Griffin. And that one is hammered home. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. There have been a lot of lead changes. Goodness. Now here's Jones. Now Cousins kicks to Jones. Back to Cousins. Lopez with the steal. Allen for the three. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. Now it's a three-point Bucks lead. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. And how? I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last ten points have come in the paint. Now here's Craig. Kicks it out to Jones. Five on the clock. Over Carter. Misses off the left iron. Milwaukee leading by three. Here's Middleton. Six points for him. This is it to Carter. Here's Lopez. Second chance shot. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Lopez has got his second basket of the game. Because of that big body and seven-foot frame, Lopez a handful to keep off the glass. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. Milwaukee on top, up by five. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee. 
And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And what stands out to you from the Bucks in this one? Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Boy, grinding it out on the glass. They've really been working for those points. Holiday and Allen have guard duties. Giannis and Lopez hold down the post for them. And it's Matthews in at the three spot. So that's who Milwaukee starts the second with. Pulls up, high post. The elites and misses. And so it's Matthews with it, bringing it up now for Milwaukee. Here's Giannis. Giannis dunks it down. And onto the Kumpo is just a blur. I mean, I don't know how a seven foot guy with that wingspan and all legs and arms can be a blur, but man, he's like a lightning bolt when he gets room to roll to the basket. The Elitza. Jones, that's for two. The rebound by the Bucks. And Giannis's journey, GA, so incredibly compelling. A full-length movie made about his and his brother's path to the NBA. Well, you hear that saying, my life is like a movie. Never truer than for Giannis. It's been an odyssey for the Greek freak. Awesome display of athleticism captured by your AT&T 5G slam game. Here's Martin. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Martin's got six. And the defense, no factor, which is why he simply laid it in. And it's Allen slamming it down. I tell you what, he clearly is one of the best players in the league who does not get the same kind of gas that other guys do. But there's no better all-around guard in the NBA than Drew Holiday. And the basket by Jones. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Jones against Holiday. And easy two points on the lane. Holiday's got the lead back up to nine now for the Bucks, And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Griffin's shot is off. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks very much, Kevin. Well, of course, Giannis is the Bucks' leader, but it's still Coach Bud who calls the shots. Giannis says, as players, we have to accept Coach's plan. You got to trust. That's the only way it's going to work. And sometimes it won't. Sometimes I'm going to execute the game plan, and sometimes I'm not. Not because I don't want to, but it's just not my day. Kevin, that is very, very good perspective. <laughs> Agreed. Thanks, David. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Outside, Mark to the middle. Ialita passes to Griffin. From down in the low post, it goes. Griffin's got his second bucket tonight. And how about Griffin continuing to own the paint? A fantastic power forward with good touch from there. Now here's Allen from 11 feet away. It's good, the assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got three assists now in this one. Checked in for the Bucks. Pat Connaughton comes in for Grayson Allen. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. And Bielita kicks to Jones. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. And that's the battle 
they haven't been linked today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, if they're looking to battle back, that's one of the key elements. You got to rebound. Here's Bielita. Following the three by Milwaukee, Herder passes to Martin. Over Holiday, Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Giannis has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Inside, and Portis throws it down. Always good to see Giannis get his teammates involved because he knows he can't do it alone. Pass to O'Neal. Now here is Martin. Now here is O'Neal. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Bucks leading by 12. Stolen by O'Neal. Jones for three. It's rebounded by Portis. Jones against Holland. Pass to Portis. Plays it up off the glass. Portis has got the lead up to 14 now for the Bucks. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. Priority and goal number one has to be tightening up the defense. They can't afford to give him open looks. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. It is simply amazing to watch Antetokounmpo sprint the floor like an Olympic track star, covering up so much ground with those long strides the way he does. Mm -hmm. Gets it to fall. The bucket from Herder. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Timeout called the Bucks. And in the last decade, defenses switching on screens has increased dramatically. Is this the new normal, you think? Kevin, I think so. I think teams that switch well tend to defend well. Because switching can create mismatches, but it's harder to punish those now with all the help defense. And the Bucks with some changes. Serge Ibaka has checked in for under Kumbo. Chris Middleton comes in for Wesley Matthews. And it's Carter in for Drew Holiday. Middleton outside from the arc. No good that time. And, you know, even though that shot didn't go down, I, I like how they got him a wide open look in space there. Out left of the wing. Craig passes to Walker. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. Nice job creating for the easy deuce. Carter against Walker. Now here is Ibaka. Tight defense on him. Middleton outside. On the wing. Not going to go that time. 143 left in the second quarter. Here's O'Neal. Cousins trying to free himself up. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Milwaukee. Getting downhill has really been impressive to me. Not settling from the outside. They're going right to the rack. Oh, man. The, their mid-range jumper also has been on fire. Tough to beat a group of guys shooting with that much confidence. And so it's Carter who brings the ball up for Milwaukee. At one point, they led by 16. And again, the Bucks miss. Cousins with it, and it's Carter picking him up. O'Neal kicks to Herter. Now the dish to Walker for three. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. You can see why Walker's participated in the three-point contest. I mean, he's an ideal participant. He's a volume deep ball shooter. Middleton inside the three-point line. And no good. The try spell continuing for him. Here's Cousins. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And that one falls for DeMarcus Cousins. 
And, you know, when Cousins is healthy now, this guy is a quality player. He's a big man that has a lot of versatility. Timeout called the Bucks. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Here's the three. DeMarcus Cousins comes up with the rebound. How about this run, Craig? They're on right now. Wow. I mean, they're just getting to their spots and executing, really keeping things simple. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Bucks lead by three. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Chris, you guys were able to get the lead. What was the key to getting all those open shots? Uh, it was just getting stops and uh, getting rebound and getting out and pushing, you know, finding lanes, finding open guys. And you made the most of it, Chris. Thanks a lot. Kevin, back to you. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break in the third quarter. Soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. Hi everyone, let's start things off by checking out the Player of the Month Award recipients. And I also want to announce our Performer of the Month. After careful consideration, the committee has picked Ernie Johnson. What, you mean you picked you? I want an investigation now, Ernie. Okay, one second, one second. I'm just hearing, just hearing this through my earpiece. Committee rejects any appeal. I win, sorry guys. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> They've gotten a big lift from their bench. The others making their presence felt at the offensive end. Nice work. If you're the coach, it's great to have those options at your disposal. And he's taking advantage of it. That'll do it for our show tonight. Thanks for joining us, and we'll send you back to Kevin Harlan for more Hoops action. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of the game it's been so far. What a game. Great performance by Pat Connaughton. He 
you just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. They've got O'Neal. Kemba Walker is out there with Kevin Herter. Then it's Nemanja Bialica. And it's Martin in at the three, the small forward. Now, here's Bialica. From 18 feet away, Walker's shot is off. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. And with UConn back in 2011, Kemba Walker introduced himself to the basketball world. That, that was an absolute all-time run in the month of March. Giannis dunks it down. Once Giannis gets going, uh, he stays hot. He's capable of putting the entire offense on his broad shoulder. O'Neal. A quick look, no good that time. Milwaukee leading by five for Kemba in 2011 with the UConn Huskies. 11 consecutive wins to close the year. I mean, winning this conference tournament, then the national title. And keep in mind, all those games were elimination games. So Kemba showing the leadership, and that really helped propel that young man into the line. And they start the second half with three straight misses. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Bielitsa. Holiday with it. He's got five. Shoots over Walker. Here's Young. And there's the call by the official. They'll count the basket here following the goaltending call. That's a very close call. I'm sure he thinks it's a clean block, but looks like it was on the way down. Greg, their unselfish play has really been impressive. They're trusting one another out there, wanting to get each other involved. This is great basketball. Portis against Bielitsa. Here's Walker. Adetokounmpo grabs the miss. That's one he knows he should have drained. Fires from deep. The rebound by Bielitsa. You can't miss those, but even the best do on occasion. Here's O'Neal. And the basket good. A bank shot that time. O'Neal's got five points so far. And this offense needed that one after four misses to start the half. And the powerful one-handed slam. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Hey, they've got a nice, comfortable lead here, fellas. Might as well keep it simple. Do it a plain, simple one-hander, just like pound cake. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. Driving the lane, shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Second personal foul. The Bucs shooting their second and third free throws tonight. At the line for Milwaukee. And That's good from Connaughton. And some changes here for the Bucs. Lopez comes in for Bobby Portis. And Grayson Allen subbed in for Chris Middleton. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Here's Jones. Eight points for him. Evan finds Martin. Now, Bielitsa. Kicks it out to Jones. And there's the pass to Martin. Another shot. And Bielitsa lays it up and in. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Holiday against Jones. The shot by Holiday, no good. This shot's just, it's not there right now with this team leading perhaps. You know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Passes it to Bielita. Outside, Jones. Offline with his three. Andrikumbo with the ball. And Griffin picks him up defensively. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. 
Over in the corner, out of the Kumbo. The rebound by Bielitsa. Bielitsa's got five rebounds tonight. Elbow shot is on the way. Jump shot is good. And now it's just a four-point Bucks lead. And, you know, he's going to take that shot every time. The defense has to respect him from the mid-range. And here is Connaughton. 15 points in the game. Little turnaround. And the rebound goes to Martin. Well, it's definitely within striking distance now. Yeah, but they've got to make each possession count on both sides of the floor. Jones for three. Milwaukee with the rebound. At one point, they led by 16. Over in the corner, Allen launches it. Good on the triple. Allen's got nine. He does not lack for confidence. He shouldn't. I mean, this guy is a dangerous scorer. Serge Ibaka has checked in for under Kumbo, and it's Carter in for Pat Connington. Allen's gone one of two from three point land. Pass to Cousins. Craig with it. Kicks to Martin. And it's in there. And it's eight points for Martin. Here's Holiday. Five points in the game. Pass to Ibaka. He dishes it to Lopez. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Here's Holiday. That shot, no good. Griffin with some nice D. The pass to Cousins. Over Lopez. Cousins, no good. So it's Carter who brings the ball up for the Milwaukee Bucks. It's a five-point game, and that one's good by Lopez. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. Here's Griffin following the basket by Brooke Lopez. To the paint. Lopez with the steal. And here we go. Carter heading to the hoop. Nobody near Allen. No good on the three. Craig. Shot's good. Griffin making the play. Griffin's got his third assist on the night. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drop that happened a moment ago. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Now here's Allen. He's got nine. Down low. Oh, and the dunk by Ibaka. Yeah, just the length and explosiveness. Ibaka is a true force at the rim. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Here's Martin. Seven-point differential. Trey, good. Well, as for them being behind in this game, you certainly can't put any of it on his shoulders. He's been tremendous offensively. Pass to Lopez. Here's Holiday. Ibaka with a screen on Martin. Really left alone that time. Holiday's got seven. Boy, what a sweet touch from the mid-range from Holiday. I like seeing him capitalize from this area of the floor. Jones finds Craig. Out to the right wing. Outside for Martin. Pass to Jones. Fires the three. Here's Craig. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. And let's check out a breakdown looking at some of the stats for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Fifty-five seconds left in the third quarter. To the middle. Here's Carter. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And now a nine-point Bucks lead. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go with the ball. Outside, Martin. Pass to Craig. 
There's the drive. Dishes it to Griffin. Drops it in from 11 feet. Griffin's got his third bucket of the night. Yeah, he's become very reliable with that mid-range jump shot. The defense can't let him get comfortable from there. Here's Allen. And Holiday kicks to Allen. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got six assists now in the game. Guys, I tell you what, feels like everything is coming easy to him. Just taking what he sees and capitalizing. And Holiday, here we go. Count that bucket. Boy, there is an understated, quiet physicality to Holiday's game. I mean, he's a guy that you don't want to mess with. He's strong and tough and persistent. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And how about last season? Made about 79% of his attempts, so those are really quality numbers. At the line for the Bucks. Drew you know, in the case of Drew Holiday, having two brothers in the league, I think probably has added motivation for him to excel. Up top, Cousins from deep three-point row. Oh, he gets it to go. Wow. It counts. Wow. What a way to finish up the quarter. That's an impossible shot, man, even when you don't have the clock to worry about. Hmm. And so it's Milwaukee. Going into the break with a 10-point lead. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. We'll return shortly. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feat. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Bucks leading by 10. Holiday leads the backcourt with Connaughton by his side. A talented pair of Middleton and Giannis in at four. And it's Portis in at the five. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Boy, just an excellent assist. Nice work from Kimball Walker. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. You know, all game long, they've imposed their will on the interior. Scoring a lot of points in the painted area. Uh, another place they've had the upper hand tonight is in transition. They've gotten a bunch of their points off the fast break. Now, Connaughton. He kicks it to Middleton. Anadokounmpo up top. Guarded by O'Neal. And Giannis throws it down. Man, it would be kind of cool to be Giannis for just one game. He makes dunking and getting to the rim look so easy. Now, here is Martin. The pass to Herter. Now, Martin. Pocket six. Passes to Bielita. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got six rebounds now in the game. Holiday, the pass to Portis. Now I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. At the line for Milwaukee, Bobby Portis. Free throw, good, Portis. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. Pass to Herter. Back to O'Neal. To the inside. Elitza. It's good. With that basket, he's now five for nine. Boy, he's been a different player here in the second half, looking much more comfortable on the offensive end. There's the lob, and Kumbo takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. Love the read there from Anta Takupo. I mean, his basketball IQ is really impressive when it comes to alley-oop attempts. Now here's Herder. I pose Bielitsa. Takes it inside. He can't get that one to fall. 
great tee that time from Portis. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Here's Connaughton. Connors on to Kumbo, making his last shot. And it's Middleton penetrating, banked in off the glass. And the Bucks lead by 17. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. And, you know, the lead just keeps growing. I mean, this game is not going to get out of their grip. They're going to keep pulling away. Holiday dish is Giannis. From deep. It's rebounded by Herter. Here's Bielitsa. Martin the best to Walker. Back to Martin. And Middleton with the block. Boy, the defensive hustle there by Middleton. Stretching out and getting his hand on that shot. Excellent effort. Here's Holiday. Rejected by Walker. And he recovers it. Tries again. And Portis with the layup. Portis has got four points this quarter. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And the shooting percentage, how about all the way in the 60s, shows how deadly he can be when he's feeling it. And as locked in as he was, they were trying to feed him as much as possible. But he never got out of control. I mean, he kept his head and just stayed patient. And this is exactly what a star player is supposed to do. Coming off a loss, he made sure they weren't going to make it two in a row. It would take a major comeback for them to get back into this game. And the chances of that happening don't look good. Here's Martin. Some solid defense from Hanna Kumbo. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. They have been bored and dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebound, and you've certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it. But it's been good on a number of levels. Here's Hurdle following the basket by Chris Middleton. Knocks down the three ball. Boy, he's doing everything he can at this point. The rest of his teammates need to step up and give him some help. Outside Holiday. And they'll get another chance. A shot by Middleton. Wide open. And the three off target. It's Martin on the wing. He's defended by Connaughton. Over to the left wing. Here's out to Takumbo. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. And that one, good. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Connaughton against Bielitsa. Here's Holiday. The second chance effort in deep. Connaughton drops it in. And the Bucks lead by 20. There he is, beasting on the glass, converting the opportunity, trying to put this game away. Well, he enjoys deflating the opposition with those extra possessions. Now here's Jones. Pass to O'Neal. Inside. Trying to find Jones. He gets it to him. Just five to shoot. Herter finds Bielita. He can't get that one. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Now here's Giannis. And Greg, even with teams daring Giannis to shoot from outside, his career three-point percentage stuck below 30%. And still an elite score because of his proficiency at the rim. But 
It's been said before, if he adds the triple, then he'll be truly unguarded. You know, you can't say enough about how important Brook Lopez was to the Bucks' 2021 title run. He gave that team an element they needed to get over the top, particularly as a rim protector and a guy who could score when needed. When Lopez Clark arrived in Milwaukee in 2018, it was a pretty good union, wasn't it? I agree, Kevin. I mean, he opened up their offense with his ability to stretch the floor as a big guy who can knock down threes. And then he really improved defensively and became an elite rim protector. The Bucks became a league power when Brook Lopez arrived. And the title came just a few years later. No coincidence. Jones with it. And Bielita kicks to Jones. Dish now to O'Neal. Back to Jones. Herter finds Jones. It's Martin on the wing. For Middleton. Rebound Milwaukee. Holiday's got four rebounds in this game. A shot. No good. Good work defensively by Martin. Bielitsa inside. Donis is there. Jones, no luck. And so onto Dekumbo will bring it up for the Bucks. They have a 22-point lead. It's the most they've led by. Lopez kicks to Holiday. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Back to Lopez. Six on the shot clock. Giannis sets a screen for Holiday. Here's on to Takumbo. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a galley win for the Bucks. And this was one that never really was in doubt, but an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And so with this win, they'll move to six victories on the season. And once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. The stats tell us that the winner of the first game is a big favorite to come out on top in the overall series. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Young. Now, he was a problem on the glass today. He relentlessly crashed the boards and came away with a bushel basket full of rebounds. Jones kicks to Martin. He's looking for Cousins and finds him. Jones finds Martin to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Carter looking around. We've got 28 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Three-pointer. Griffin grabs the board. Outside, Jones. Griffin kicks to Martin. Jones for three. Good. Beautiful pick by the big man, Cousins. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thanks very much, Giannis. Great individual performance. I guess you're going for another MVP, huh? Hey, you know, I try not to think about it that much. Uh, my mind says do my job, do whatever it takes to help my team win, and uh, all I get about is I've got to win. Love the humble brag, man. Congrats on the win. Thanks. All right, David, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Craig Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.